Hey guys, this is Brad Lincoln from Pathway to Oz, and today I'm gonna to chat to you about a great new program that is available to international students. It's in the telecommunications and IT sector, which as you know, I mean, this sector is just absolutely booming, not only in Australia, but all over the world. So this is a great opportunity for international students who wanna learn a new skill and open up a doorway to a whole heap of job opportunities, I mean, absolutely everywhere. Okay, so what is the program? The Advanced Diploma of Telecommunications and Network Engineering. This program will skill you in the areas of design and implementation of IT networks for enterprises, service providers, and carrier environments, as well as a strong focus on secure, resilient IP networks, virtualized environments, and unified communication systems and high level data systems. As you can see, very, very technical stuff, which in this modern day and age uh, is a skill set that is in extremely high demand. So well worth looking into. What are the job outcomes after this course? Now, this is one of the things that I love most about this course. It does not just skill you for one in particular job role, okay? It opens up the door to a number of different areas that you can go into within the IT sector, all of which are in extremely high demand. Okay, so some of those uh, options are telecommunication network planner, telecommunication network designer, IP-based network designer, telecommunication network engineer, network security manager, and telecommunication network administrator. So as you can see, you know what I mean? It, as, it's not just one area that you can go into. There's a lot there to choose from depending on your skill set and, and where you want to sort of see yourself moving forward. Where is the course delivered? Okay, so the course is delivered in some awesome locations. It is currently available on the Gold Coast, Brisbane and Melbourne, which as an international student, you mean, in my opinion, some of the best places in Australia to study. How much will it cost? The cost of the program is around $15,000 a year and it's a two year program. Uh, but the schools are quite flexible in terms of payment plans and things like that. So don't, as again, we always say, don't think you have to have that money all up front. Uh, we will work with you and the school to find a, a scenario in terms of payments that'll, that'll work best for you. Um, how long does the course go for? So as I've mentioned uh, previously, the course does go for two years. Generally speaking, you will be at school two days a week, depending on the module that you're doing at the time. Um, and the, ter the school is broken up into terms. So you'll be at school, generally speaking, each term is roughly about 10 weeks, depending on how public holidays and things like that fall, um, with about a seven to 10 day break in between each term. I'm now gonna pass this on over to Nick, our registered migration agent here at Pathway to Oz, who's gonna give you a bit of a brief overview and rundown on the future visa possibilities after doing this program. Thanks, Brad. Um, yeah, so as Brad did discuss, um, you know, the Advanced Diploma Telecommunications Network Engineering, it may skill you for the role of telecommunications technical officer or technologist. Um, this role is actually on the medium to long term list. Um, so it may make you eligible for potentially for what's called the graduate work visa, you know, or other, you know, work visas in the future. So the skill assessor for this role is actually Engineers Australia. And the course quite often is not accredited by Engineers Australia through any particular pathway. Um, so this means that you would still need to provide what's called a competency demonstration report with the skill assessment, which basically requires you to give three examples um, of times where you've used the knowledge and experience gained uh, through the qualification or, you know, through working when you're studying the qualification um, and explain how this is useful in the actual job of telecommunications technical officer. Uh, if you can do this and Engineers Australia assess it, you will then receive the full skills assessment, uh, which can be used for, you know, general skill migration, graduate work visa or a, or a whole bunch of different other visas. Thank you. So guys, I hope that gives you a better understanding of this program. Um, and as always, if you do have any questions about this program or any others, never hesitate to contact the team at Pathway to Oz on phone, email, website, or Facebook. See you guys.